All right, uh, one second of silence. My name is Henrik, I'm a German douche and this is my favorite band Frontline Assembly. And we're doing an interview on Amphi Festival tonight. Uh, so you're back with that new album, uh, Improvised Electronic Device. And uh, my impression was that uh, in comparison to the last album, this is kind of uh, the version 2.0 because there was a lot of similarities to, uh, between both albums, but the new one is better all the way. Would you, would you share it like that? Uh, the new uh, the new standard, anything like that? I'll say something. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's a step up from the last record. Um, we put a lot more thought into it, and we had more time to do it. And um, I think we tried a lot of things that we probably wouldn't have tried on the last record. Um, so definitely a better version. Yeah. Uh, the last one had uh, one big one big problem, and that was uh, probably the mastering, or maybe maybe some sort of mixing. Uh, I was I was surprised because essentially the lineup was the same this time. So uh, you're gonna kill me for asking this, but uh, did it have to do with you being new in the band that that everything was overmastered, or was it just uh, something that the, the whole band went into? Well, or was I, I have nothing to do with the mastering, yeah. so definitely not. I oh. think. Yeah. Come on, Bill. But the whole loudness was thing was that something that the band ran into uh, collectively. No, well, well, first of all, I think IED sounds nothing like Artificial Soldier. Yeah. I think they're completely different yeah, albums. I don't think it's a version 2.0 at all. I, I mean, I I think there's no comparison. Um, so, for the, for the record, yeah, I think this this record is completely different. Uh, for the mastering, Greg really m mastered this album. Bernie Grunman mastered the last album, and we had. We had two, three shots at it, and he never got it right. And I think between him mastering it too hot and and the master being delivered hot, it just turned into a bit of a distortion fest. So that's that's the difference between the two. So now we're using Greg, and he did a good job. This and Ken, time. Ken Marshall and the, the mixing, yeah, Greg and Ken. But he didn't master it. No, right? but that's they did spend a lot more time mixing it too. Yeah, and that helps. Yeah, I mean, I guess that was a major difference that you had so much time with this record. Uh, what I was wondering about, uh, the album took so long because you, you were fiddling around with taking Riz in or taking Riz out, but uh, what, for example, what did you do in, in the last couple of years? I mean, Jeremy was on tour and I guess you two guys had, like Jared, you probably had a day job or something, making a living from what, what did you do? You just did a Delirium tour in 2008, but uh, you haven't done much in uh, 2008 and 2009. Yeah, well, I think I've done a lot. I spent a lot of time at my studio. Yeah? Yeah. So you've been songwriting for most of the time? Yes. Yeah, for like two years, me, Bill and Chris were getting uh, together initially, starting to put play some tri put some tracks together, and, and then Jeremy got back, and you know, we did spend a lot of time uh, yeah. writing it, and really working on and, it. And I also put together a, a Delirium acoustic album, which is now coming out next month, which was actually a lot of work, believe it or not. and. Uh, yeah, and doing those delirium tours was actually a lot of work too. Like getting on, so I mean, you know, I mean, you can't put out ten albums every year, especially now. If anything, you got to spend a little more time and make sure whatever you're doing is, is you know, is is uh, is better than the thing before. And uh, oh, and by the way, we'd like you to introduce you to our new drummer down at the end. You want int to introduce yourself here? <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Um, I'm Jason Bazinet. I'm the new guy. New drummer, a token American, the band. <laughs> so I, uh, I figure you got uh, to go into contact with the band through touring with uh, Left Spine Down for some uh, Actually, I was talking with the band uh, when I, I started talking with them uh, while I was touring with uh, Chem Lab. Uh, I talked to Chris, talked to Jeremy. I think we did a gig with Left Spine Down, actually. Yeah, it was about almost two years in the making, actually. Yeah. So we've been chit-chatting a little bit, and then I came around again with uh, drumming for 16 volt, and we just kept talking, and then uh, tour came together, and they needed a drummer. So that's the story, pretty much. Uh, so do you have a main project of yourselves? Like, this is SMTP. I'm, I'm not really familiar with, with everything you've been doing, but is M SMTP your own band? Like I'm not sure. Yeah, I have, a, I have a band called SMP. I've been around since 95. It's kind of a hip-hop industrial hybrid. Okay, so I can, uh, you can pass on to Jerry. So, yeah, what have you been doing all the time? You've, uh, you've uh, suddenly learned to play keyboard now. Is that what you spent the last two years with? Drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I don't really remember what I've been doing actually the last two years. Yeah. Just working and we put a lot of time into that record as well and you know I'm got some other stuff on the go as well a couple projects uh, one called circle of doom <laughs> that we haven't uh released too much info about but it's it's uh, pretty top secret it's gonna it's gonna destroy the most highly anticipated <laughs> album ever it's ever. it's gonna be huge it's we're we're getting we're gonna approach by like jack johnson possibly no. for uh for yeah. touring with him and no, all but actually stuff. people just think that you know it's like just easy just to put a record together but me and him and chris We'd sit there and jam out some of those songs, and and like it, it takes energy when you leave. You're tired, you know, and you, and you, and then you don't know whether you like it or hate it. Then you got to walk away with it for a while, and Come you know, life. You got life. You got he's, he has a real job too, you know, because there's not a lot of money in this anymore. And what are you doing? So, as a real job. I work for a marketing company for a public public companies essentially. So you know when you have to get up at five every morning and go to work, you know, I mean it's not easy, right? So it's like you know between all that. It uh, doesn't come together over two months. Yeah, you know, and, and then we had uh, personnel, and then you know, uh, like I said, we were waiting for Reese, and then he blew us off, and then he didn't, and then this and that, and and then this guy went on tour, and then Chris was supposed to do something, and you know, it just it just became this big self-encompassing, you know, encompassing situation, and then finally, finally, and then I went on tour, and, uh, and so then finally it came together, you know, and then using two different mixers and the whole deal. So it was a, it was a big task. Yeah. It's and a whole lot of ideas being recorded and then finally in the last four months we put it all together. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, and I suppose as usual you did uh, multiple tracks for multiple projects and uh, as far as I remember back two years ago you and Bill had some tracks that seemed to uh, end up being Delirium's new record. So is it likely that you and Bill do the next Delirium well, actually, together? Well actually, you know, like, I forgot about that. Me and Jeremy, we have about 14, 15 songs mm -hmm. that are, and some of them are going to be new noise unit songs that? and some are going to be Delirium songs. Right so apart, so we actually have written a lot of music. Yeah. We just haven't, we focus so much at the end on getting the frontline thing and you know, we have three or four demo songs with Christy right now as we speak. She's working on a song. So we're going to have a whole big body of music. There's still two more albums coming out within the next year. So that's that's really what we've been doing. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, you know? yeah. We're, it's we're, a lot of music. Whatever whatever feels right at the time, you know. Bill comes over, you know, whatever we feel like working on. Unless we have a really pressing issue that we have to do. You know, we just really just like to keep an open open just palette. Just on the front, front line right now. But yeah. yeah, we have all that. When we go back, we're going to spend the next two months. You know, and then we're probably gonna have to obviously come up with a follow-up single to, uh, you know, shifting through the land, with yeah. the, which did us a lot of good, and, and maybe some new tracks, you know. So uh, there's more than enough to do, you know, and yeah. uh, and and get the new Delirium album out for next spring, you know. Uh, looking at what is Chris Peterson doing, he's uh, it's the first time in his being with the band that he's not joining the tour. It's probably because he's uh, also busy with the day job. So well, like yeah, him and his brother have a t-shirt company yeah. and, you know, they, they put a lot of time and effort into that because, you know, when you're self-employed, you know, you got to do all the work and also he's getting married, like, pretty soon and, you know, he's just had to change the lifestyle a bit and, and I think once he gets all that in order, he might show up again, you know. Yeah, never count him out. No, I didn't. But, uh... Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to ask uh, you about you. You have been touring with Left Spine Down a lot. By the way, why did you uh, quit Left Spine Down? Yeah, I was a little surprised about that. Um, I just wasn't. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on, and I didn't really feel as if I could uh, put commit the time that was required for for Left Spine Down. Really, I mean, these guys are out there on the road all the time, and it's a grind. You know, it really takes a long time to 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 get somewhere with a band like that. You know, no money and and. Uh, you know, I got to support myself and want to focus on other things as well. So, didn't really, couldn't really put the effort into it anymore. But obviously, I wish them the best and still, still friends with the the whole camp and everything. Even this guy? Uh, well, we hate each other. Yeah, we don't like each other. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, congrats for uh, for leaving the band as silent as it's gonna get. I think I was the only one who commented on the MySpace uh, announcement that you were leaving. It was just uh, you had all those MySpace news things, and it was just uh, there was just one small thing. Uh, hey guys, I'm I'm quitting the band, and I I posted something like, "Oh, you just do it because your mom didn't let you go to rehearse anymore." Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, moving on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why yeah. Did you kick to the junk? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I just wanted to bring myself, and because everybody likes me, <laughs> you know. That's weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, so. Uh, Jeremy, uh, you were, uh, I got one more for you. Uh, you've been doing a lot of touring with Left Spin Down, uh, and uh, I remember you s telling me once that you worked on a movie set for X-Men 3. Yep. So are you doing s uh, movie soundtrack work or anything? No, no, or was no, no, it no. Something I was just, I, no, I was just on set. Like, I, I just did uh, background work. And uh, extra, right? yeah, it was just an extra for three months. It was just yeah. a long, long time on set, but that was actually the last time I was on set. I haven't, uh, I haven't really. I've been too busy to, to be an extra, you know. Yeah. I haven't really but needed that's to work. But that's my true passion is being an extra. <laughs> but no, that was just that. That was just. Uh, oh, that was like a pretty long, long time to be on a movie set for me. It's yeah. not really like a normal thing for me. So with uh, you touring all the time, can you make a living from music, or is that still left my down too small for that? Well, it's sort of it's it's you know I think you're looking at it as one or the other. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, it's 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 not it's not like you just make money from one thing or the other. You make mo you, you you put yourself out as a business, and and you know some, sometimes you make money with Frontline, sometimes you make money with LSD, sometimes you make money doing something else you know it, it doesn't really matter um, you know as long as you're just doing it right yeah yeah all right uh, um, as you might have noticed there's this director Josh Sweden uh, who did this series dollhouse and, and all that and he used uh, he frequently used frontline assembly and delirium music in his films and uh, in his TV series so mm -hmm. Uh, you once mentioned that you would love to do uh, a movie soundtrack for something like Blade Runner. Maybe, uh, maybe Joss Whedon is not doing anything like Blade Runner, but he's pretty, pretty cool. I think for for TV series and all that, he's he's one of the coolest guys. So why in hell haven't you contacted the guy and said, "Hey, let's do a soundtrack for something"? Well, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think us? it's that easy, but yeah. at least he's got good taste in music, yeah. right? Yeah. He I should mean, contact uh, us. All right, maybe it'll happen one day, you know? We'll just, uh, we'll just keep my fingers crossed. I know somebody's going to call me and uh, oh, wait, I'm give sending me the word up. <laughs> He's in the yellow pages. I yeah. know. <laughs> you know? So, well, we'll see, right? I don't think they usually, like, it doesn't usually work like that, you know? Yeah. Usually they call you. Yeah. When they have a project, they call you because music is an afterthought to music, to movies, you know, versus it's the other way around. It doesn't really work. But maybe he's already used your stuff. Maybe he's shy and you should do the first step. Like, with girls, it's the same. No, you, you know what? Those guys, yeah, no. Ask him. Trust me. Yeah. You ask him. He'll <laughs> tell Okay, I do it. Like I, <laughs> I get 20% if I get you the job. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's get somewhere to the end of the interview because you're so hurried up and got to set it up again mm -hmm. and uh, I got to set up 10 cameras around the stage and blah, blah, blah. And uh, are we going to try to do a DVD again from the show and it's going to come out before 2020, I promise you. Okay. Um, 2020? Yeah, uh, <laughs> you, you haven't been in this as long as I have. You have no idea how long it takes me to finish a DVD and release it. So... Um, <laughs> the last one, yeah. Uh, I think I finished it, but nobody wants to release it because it's too good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's really, uh, I get record companies telling me that the, the work is great. Even Stefan Herwig secretly said that he likes what I do. He didn't tell it to me yet, but uh, I heard Freddie he he telling me. Because your sandwich. <laughs> yeah, because I'm such a difficult, I'm a, me and Jeremy are the most difficult persons on, in the universe, so All right, right. probably like that. So what, what I really wanted to ask you, yeah, let's forget up, about, let's go. forget about my DVD, here? what songs are you going to play tonight? It's 50% almost of the new album? Um, yeah. And you skip Artificial Soldier because that's a new flavor of the week in the band history that nobody wants to remember no, that, anymore? That, no, no. That's just being a little no, harsh. No, no, no. You always go through phases where you miss an album or two for a tour and then you come comes back around the next tour. This just happens to be what we're playing this, yeah. this time around. You're talking about 25 years of music here. It's, yeah. A lot we're not going to sit there play like a ton of the new stuff like that. Yeah. But you really got a lot of uh, new songs on the, like for Artificial Soul, you had two songs on the Artificial album and for this tour you have like five or six songs on the new record, so it's definitely uh, well, we a like focus new, on it. We like the new record more. So you hated the other one? No, we don't hate it. Well, you know what, it, it just comes down to the, the new album, a lot of the songs have guitar on them. Yeah. And for live, they just come off way better. Yeah, it translates better. So yeah. that's that's one, that's probably the main reason. 
All right, so I'm gonna uh, film Jerry all the time doing the chicka chicka chicka. You get it? Uh, no, that's no. that's pretending to play guitar. Oh, never mind. That was a stupid thing for me at the end of the interview because these guys are so in a hurry that I was surprised that I still got them here and sitting around here and talking to me. Um, last not least, uh, would you? Uh, can you uh, greet, send some greetings to the Mind Phaser guys and say that, except for this guy, you, you really like me and the rumors on the internet that you hate me are not real? It's oh all false. <laughs> you don't have to join it, it's okay. Uh, hey, this is Bill Lieb. I'm talking to Hendrik. He's a satanic man, watch out. Evil has no boundaries. <laughs> and man like Hendrik Bauer, unless he's doing his drugs, do not talk to this man. I don't have anything to say. I got no problem with it. And watch out for the Kazim man. All right. Wait, I really want Jared to do some. Um, hit me with the microphone. And I just, uh, I just met you, and um, I'm developing a little bit of a dislike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the guy either. I'll give him a shot. Oh, it's okay. I guess we're done. It's, it's getting worse now, so. Get the fuck on stage so I don't have to talk to you, I just have to look at you, that's okay, hey, enough. Cheers, nice. All right. Very nice, all right. Okay. Hey, thanks, man. Right. All right. Take see that? Is. See that? Huh? Cheers. Even this guy, even this guy. <laughs> all right, thank you. This <laughs> 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 Do you still hate me, huh? Uh, Come on. Just joking around, man. Come on. It's my job. I can't help it. <laughs> it's a man. So is that a, is this guy, Jerry nice Slingerland, has all the orcas readers. That's why he gave me the finger. No, this guy is <laughs> 2,000 euros, and you do that. Make yeah, a funny face. Come it on. Would be, uh, what? I, I'm not a monkey that's just gonna dance right now. Yeah, they sing you some sort of fun You're on this. I was? Oh, yeah. So, do you see any other bands today? Uh, yeah, I. Uh, sometimes with Combi Christ, for example, I had to do other shit, but. Uh, or should I sign it? I'm the DVD producer. I'm awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Jared Slingerland, Ken White. I can't believe.
morning, good morning. <laughs> From Sweden. Uh, I'm from Belarus. Yes. Uh, because it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's the energy records release. The CD looks different than the German version. So that's just I, 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 I bought it here. Yeah. yeah. So an hour ago, uh, just here in the mansion. So. Maybe it was just a used CD, but it's the Swedish ver Swedish version. Energy record is the Swedish record uh, maybe, company. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, just probably. So you know. Oh, okay. Go just Facebook me and I will guest list you yeah, for any show. Yeah. Facebook, yeah. We'll, just, we'll, just put, we'll just put you on every show. Yeah. Uh, uh, looking good. How's life? You guys just leave. I'm just school. Ich erlaube dir alles. Okay. Security sind die. Komm damit, damit du auch mal drauf bist. Ja, genau. Diese Leute da äh, finden mich unheimlich gut und das haben sie auch zu Wort gegeben. Allerdings ohne es auszusprechen. 
Oh, wait, you got it. I thought you had an American accent. Yeah, you know where he's from? I'm the American. And, uh, I've actually met you guys several times before. I used to have hair down to my ass. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, uh, ja, uh, einmal die Festival DVD und dann bin ich selber seit sechs Jahren an einer Frontline Film DVD am Arbeiten. Also eins von beiden irgendwie. Ich nehme das eher an, dass wir auf die Festival DVD kommen, weil da die Signing Sessions sind normalerweise für sowas da. Also, ja, schauen wir mal. Stuttgart four years ago. That was awesome. The best show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Work out with fun like this and no moves. <laughs> 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 
eine andere Location finden. Ja, ich bin da von uns hier. Noch vier Leute stehen noch nicht. Stehen noch nicht hier. Teilweise kommt es auf die Amphi-DVD und teilweise werde ich mal gucken, wie ich das verwende. Vielleicht auf meine DVD-Geschichte, die seit 20 Jahren in Arbeit ist. <lacht> Ja, ich komme da 
Oh, 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 Als ich vorhin war, das doch so, habe ich Backstage mit ihm gequatscht, hatten sie erstmal keinen Bock auf die Autogramme, nö, keine Lust. Ja, ist ein bisschen nur Ja, na, will, wenn er schon will, seine, seine Launen hat, dann ist nichts zu machen auf der Welt. Ich habe mal ein Konzert gemerkt gerade, da war er ein bisschen angefangen. Ja, am, am Anfang. Ich habe gemerkt, da klappte gar nichts, aber. Ne? Aber es liegt auch in der Zeit. Ich habe auch so ein paar Karten bekommen. Jeder Lee. Kannst du mir mal was besorgen? Naja, ich habe so ein Ticket hier, aber ich glaube, ich Ich glaube, ich Ich glaube, ich Ich glaube, ich Ich glaube, das ist kein großes Thema.